Hey, it's Snivy, and I was reading um, Jerm's blog earlier yesterday, and I saw something on um, one of the posts was about something about Stampede being harder to come by, or Price Drops was one of the two. But um, they're talking about how like the electronic like Stampede Volkman. I was reading it, and it said something about um, Dark Tag Blasters at Target were on sale, and I saw that the um, Speed Storm was um, for. The um, quick sixteen was like third. The same was actually quick sixteen was fourteen. Thought was stupid. Why put a speed swarm, swarm fire, at the same price as a quick sixteen? Before I come to this, I went to Target earlier today, today, and I bought a speed swarm for um, saying speed swarm, a swarm fire for um, fourteen dollars, and it was like I was amazed that it was actually true, and. Um, so I got that, and it's just an, a really awesome blaster. Um, it comes with a removable stock, which has these two little pegs that when you pull this down, it comes, it loosens, it comes, it opens, it comes apart. It's a really heavy blaster, like, it's really top, it's really front heavy, so, like, without the stock, it's a really hard blaster to the maneuver. Like, I guess if you want to, you could probably dual wield these but I think you probably could it wouldn't be that awkward but if I'm using this as a um sink without stock I'll just hold it with my hand on the bottom there but one thing that I didn't buy which was kind of a dumb on my part was I didn't buy batteries and unlike most electronic blasters the this one takes um C size C size batteries unlike most that take D size like the Vulcan and the Stampede but I will be able to do a firing test because I have my little battery and it's gonna be a little bit weird but I will try to fire it. I have fired it and this thing gets good ranges. It gets pretty like I would say just stock without any modifications and brand new taggers. Fire this fire at the wall. I don't wanna lose it. And it's just a great blast and I'll let you hear it for water. And I don't know if the voltage of this thing is 9 volts, if I'm correct. Because I think if I'm correct, C batteries are 1.5 volts, and 6 of those take 9 volts. So this is just a great blaster all around. And um, before I finish up, I went to um, a local Tuesday morning, and they just sell like half, things like half off, and I picked up a pistol splat for like $4. And they, had, they didn't have any wipeout pistol splats. They said the regular ones. This is actually a Predator one. This is the same exact model, it's just a different color scheme. The original one is like a, a blue, if I'm correct. This is a Predator one. And I got it um, just because um, I saw um, one of my thoughts videos on pistol splats. And I thought, well, this is a pretty good blaster. And it's really a good blaster. It shoots about 50 feet stock. And with mods, I'm betting you could probably get way better blasters way better ranges, but I know they make a model that like, shoots chalk darts by, it's like a wipeout blaster, but they didn't have any of these, they just had the plain old paper blasters, but they did have, um, the wipeout, um, secret strike, which is basically like a secret strike, but it's a wipeout blaster, and she, and, um, that's, well, um, not too long ago, like, over, um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we had, um, a church festival, they had, like darts, we throw darts, and new enterprise and shit like that. Well, I um, this, and I mean, let me get the dart for it. It only shoots like these piece of crap dart. Wherever it's at, here it is. Oh. Um, yeah, it's the worst earth. Half the time it doesn't fire. I know, um, Busby makes a, a blaster like this, and it's like horrible. I mean, it fires like 1% of the time first. You do the original shot, then you pull it back a second time, and it shoots like probably just like 5 or 10 feet. Not even 10 feet, probably just like 7 feet. And this thing's just horrible. If you ever seen one of these, don't pick them up. I know they come in 3 packs. I saw some at Target. And there's no modding potential for this thing. Um, Probably the best thing you can use out of this is probably a spring, just for something mechanical. I mean, it's a pretty horrible blaster. Um, it, ha it actually has no dart pegs. I would like to say that. It has no dart pegs, and the location of the holes is not the center. It's at the very bottom of the dart holder, so I don't know if that has something to do with the ranges. 
It has a decent seal, but with the turret, it reduces the seal because it's not a perfect turret. And um, one last thing, I saw a Ultimate Berserker, and it came with something new. It's a sixth mint. It's kind of like, and I think that'd be pretty awesome just for any type of air blaster because most people had to make them, and I know they're pretty difficult to make if you don't have the materials. Um, you have to use what do you call it, conduit piping just to make them. And I thought that was stupid. I didn't want to pay like twenty dollars for um, a big blast. So if I ever see one, or to my, I'll just buy it just for that because. I have no use for big blast, pretty much. I mean, not big blast. That's not my problem with getting my guns mixed up. So, um, Ultimate Berserker, it had a six shot, um, shotgun attachment where the, um, where the, um, glow, glow missile went. So, um, that's like a great deal. I think it's only a Target exclusive. It came with that because I didn't see it anywhere else. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, um, that's pretty much it.